Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the second book of Samuel. But that night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David. Thus says the Lord, are you the one to build me a house to live in? When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your ancestors, I will raise up your offspring after you who shall come forth from your body and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be a father to him and he shall be a son to me. When he commits iniquity, I will punish him with a rod such as mortals use with blows inflicted by human beings. Your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. Everything that we do in this life has a massive impact on the world, even the small things that we do. I'm sure that you've heard of the term, the butterfly effect. And it's kind of a cute notion to consider that, you know, a butterfly flapping its wings in China might cause a hurricane in Florida. But the truth of this is that indeed, every little choice that we make moment to moment has an echoing impact in the world, in the here and now, and into the future. If you really stop to reflect on this, it is incontrovertible. And because that's true for everything, even the smallest little choices, it is all the more true at scale when we are talking about the important things that God is calling us to do or not to do. When we choose to follow God's will for us, when we choose to obey his plans for us and even seek them out in the first place, the impact that that has is resounding into eternity. Now the hard part of it and the humbling part of it is that we don't always see that impact. We don't always see those ripples. We don't always see that metaphorical hurricane, but the impact is there. And as we seek to discover and understand God's will for us, we need to stay rooted in his grace, attend frequently the sacrament of reconciliation. The closer you are to him and the more reconciled you are to him, the more easily you will hear the promptings of the Holy Spirit in your mind and in your heart. And so in a story like today's passage, as it pertains to your life, I believe that the Lord's invitation to all of us is to be obedient and to be considerate of the reality that all of our choices matter and all the more so our choice to follow his will for our lives. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Word. Awaken the Word is a three-minute daily reflection that unpacks scripture with practical messages for everyday life.